Hi students, this is Mr. Liu, and today we are talking economics, specifically chapter five, supply decisions. How do business people make decisions about how much to supply or how much to produce? The first learning objective is something called the production function. What is the production function? Well, the production function will show how much you can produce, how much output you can produce given a fixed amount of resources. That's your production function. Number two, explain why the law of diminishing return applies. Well, given fixed amount of input or resources, at a certain point in time, you will begin to notice diminishing returns. In other words, you can only produce so much given these fixed inputs before quantity and quality start to diminish. Number three, describe the nature of fixed, variable, and marginal cost. Your fixed cost are items such as your plant and equipment, property taxes. These are expenses that you must pay for regardless of how much output you produce. On the other hand, your variable costs are very much dependent on how much you choose to produce. So if you produce more, your variable costs will increase. Variable costs include items such as labor and materials. Now your marginal costs are directly tied to your variable costs, meaning that Remember, those fixed expenses remain the same regardless of how much output you produce. However, if you choose to produce more, then your variable costs will increase. So your labor and your materials, your supplies will increase. Those are known as your marginal costs. These are incremental costs or expenses related to producing one more widget, if you will. Next, number four, illustrate the difference between production and investment decisions. So when a business is making production decisions, they are looking at a very short horizon. Given these fixed costs, how much can we produce? Production costs or production decisions are based on both economic and accounting costs. So what we mean by that is your economic costs include those intangible items that we in economics sometimes refer to as an opportunity cost. So in addition to deciding, well, should we produce more based on these accounting costs? the amount it would cost us to produce more, we also have to look at our opportunity costs. Are we using resources in the appropriate manner? Okay. Those are production costs. How much should we produce in the short run given these fixed assets? Okay. Capital, plant, equipment, machinery, all that. Now on the other hand, your investment decisions includes your factors in your accounting costs. So investment decisions are made over the long term. Should we produce one more widget? Should we ramp up so we can produce manufacture more? So when we look at investment costs, we say, okay, how much for more capital improvements? Should we build a new plant? Should we buy more machinery? Should we produce more? Or perhaps should we exit the business? But that is over a long horizon because fixed costs can change over time. If an organization deems it is profitable to make additional investments and buy more plant equipment to produce more. Now, We've already talked about how accounting costs and economic costs differ, but let's just be very clear about that. Your accounting costs are 
explicit costs. These are items that you would receive a bill for that you have to make payment for. Those are your explicit accounting costs. Your implicit economic costs are those items that you would not receive a bill for, that you do not make a payment for. But these are trade-offs, right? These are your economic opportunity costs. Are we deploying resources, limited resources that we have in the best way possible? So those are our economic costs. Where accounting costs and economic costs diverge is once you start calculating beyond something that you would receive a bill for, those then become your economic costs. So one last thing we'll talk about is your total cost. Your total cost would include your economic cost, which are implicit, and your accounting costs, which are explicit. And that equates to total cost. Hey, this is Mr. Liu. I hope this has been helpful to you as you prepare to create your Canvas text entry and write about supply decisions. This is Mr. Liu wishing you well and good luck.